Welcome Pisces to your end of the month love reading. If you are new, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to pull the uh, Sacred Forest Oracle. Okay, so let's see what cards are coming in for you. What messages? We have Patience coming through, number 18. And Purity. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We also have a flow coming through the reading. I am going to grab one from the Price of Love Oracle deck. See what other messages we have. Okay, this one wanted to come out. We have Makeup and Breakups. All right, let's see. Keep in mind, again, these readings... Um, may not resonate with every single one of you okay so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind yeah we do have the six of pentacles coming in in reverse with the ace of rings so there seems to be an opportunity here um after something here with the six of pentacles was like someone giving more than the other possibly leaving something out in the cold here okay and going after new opportunities in your life I do feel like you are being very patient here as you could be healing from a situation that has been you know cracked <laughs> like this plate this plate is cracked and broken and then glued back together so it's stating that this isn't like an an unstable kind of relationship or situation or the person you're dealing with and it has stains on there so like permanent damage here and scratches it's just it feels like it's been broken way too many times um, on the bottom of the deck we do have the high priestess in the reverse so there could have been a lot of secrets here and I feel like your intuition was definitely nudging you within a situation okay let's see so the cards are saying that there is a purity within you here your unicorn which means you're very rare okay very rare yeah we do have the eight of pentacles coming in with the king of wands let's get more into it okay the five of cups in reverse the three of pentacles and the queen of wands the chariot the page of swords nine of cups temperance and the ace of swords energy on the bottom we have the two of swords okay so we're going to take these two and put them here on the bottom here's that opportunity again all right guys okay i know it's a lot of cards but i am doing i am adding more to this spread to get more in depth in your reading okay so let's see all right so what I feel is that there is a up here I do feel like there has been a feeling of feeling left out in this in the cold okay you could be leaving somebody out in the cold but it could be some some feeling of security of a lot of uns unstable energy not reliable energy to where you're ending up giving more than the other person okay and it's because you're operating from a very pure place so there could be a lot of you know situations or mainly a situation here with makeup and breakups to where it just doesn't feel like it's like sticking right but there is a new opportunity coming in i feel like this is very very successful for you um but let's go ahead and see. So we do have this energy, which is the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be more of things feeling stuck. So you guys could be focusing on work at this time. I do feel like you're you're moving, you're putting effort on things that are growing, but also and it's an energy of putting in the effort and things not working out. Okay, it's like you put in the work, you put in the effort, and things just keep feeling like they're going in the wrong direction now we do have the present situation with the king of wands and the page of swords so we do have aries leo sagittarius coming in with gemini libra aquarius there is it can be a fire sign stalking you here for some 
But we do have the Page of Swords, which is stating that there is somebody wanting more information. And you could have blocked this person or you could have like not talked to them at this time, but they're literally like taking action here and like searching for you in some way. We do have the Five of Cups energy to where I feel someone is very disappointed within this connection, okay? Something that was a wish fulfillment or feeling like this is a wish fulfillment. This could be, I feel like this is more of your person here with the Nine of Cups just by something that they're desiring because they're the one that's kind of like stalking. But I feel like it was just a very dis disappointing energy, okay, overall, who brought a lot of like unhappiness, kind of like in and out of emotions here. Now, I feel what the challenge is that there was, again, a misunderstanding or somebody determined to misunderstand you in some way. And like it was either always a debate or you were wrong or they always wanted you to look at their the like kind of side with them more because it does feel like a six of rings energy where it's one sided. OK, and I feel like you're just wanting peace within this connection or within your life as I feel is like it, patience and patience is doing things in moderation so I do feel like you had a lot of patience with this energy and I feel like you're just more craving for that peace now okay now with the queen of wands and the ace of swords there is a king and queen here so there is something here about communication or some type of truth but I feel like there is with this opportunity, it's like, it's upright, okay? So these two are upright. I feel like you're going after new opportunities. This is brand new opportunities coming in, new beginnings. Um, and it's wonderful because this Ace of Pentacles brings in new journeys, new beginnings here, okay? And it's something that's going to grow and be very successful. Um, now this could be within your work within a relationship or a commitment, but something here is coming in for you guys. And then with the Two of Swords is, is a stagnant energy that is also here. And I feel it's because like, it's like feeling like it's not going anywhere. It's like you kind of had to either block this energy or completely cut it off. But what I see is that there's so much clarity that you um, are seeing within the situation. You're seeing the truth, you know, and I feel with by them by this stalemate it's kind of moving you forward to take other opportunities in your life okay yeah i don't feel like you're wanting to fight with this person anymore i feel because you're like recovering from their deceit okay to where you had to kind of make a choice because the five of wands is saying that there's a lot of challenges okay and even here with the three of pentacles there's a challenge of communication there's a challenge of coming together and compromising and i feel you're just wanting peace so that's why this three of swords is coming in like i need to recover from this this was a lot of deceit this is a lot of manipulation this person could have had imposter syndrome so here with the lovers here pisces i feel like you're like making a choice but this could still be stagnant as somebody is still in your energy okay so I do want to clarify more on this Ace of Pentacles, what this opportunity is for you. Yeah, see, things here were not going as planned. Like things are out of your control. It's like no matter how much effort or how much love or how much time or how much patience you put into a situation, it's like it feels like you just had to let go of control completely um, because somebody was resisting change. So I feel like that's why there's a beautiful opportunity being handed to you by the universe, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, let's go ahead and get this King of Wands because I do feel like somebody is stalking you here. King of Wands and the Page of Swords, what is this? Yeah, somebody's definitely waiting, okay? Somebody's waiting, and we do have the lovers in the reverse, so they're, because there's an attachment, a detachment, sorry, um, some conflict here, an indecision, someone has not let you go. That's why they're stuck to your energy here, 
Okay. It, it, again, let's, it's like you're putting all of this effort in and things aren't going anywhere with this energy. And then we do have the lovers, but this person, it's like, it's like they're resisting change, but still waiting. Okay. And clearly the challenge is they're not, they're like committed to misunderstand you. I don't know if this is like an ego, ego thing or what, but I feel you're just wanting peace at this time. Okay, guys, like, mm. let's see what this, um, I want to see more in this five of pentacles, I mean, five of cups energy. Yeah, see, plans falling apart where I feel like you had to just be very direct and honest and set clear boundaries, being logical now within this situation, right? And I feel with this energy, it's like they're waiting, you know, they're like, but they're avoiding on making a decision. They're avoiding on, you know, changing for like the better because they're still kind of stuck on their ways here. Okay. Yeah. And then we have temperance, a big imbalance here, disruptive energies. So let's see more of this three of pentacles and the temperance. Hermit. Yeah. You had to go within because somebody is repeating past mistakes. So even though it could feel a little lonely, I feel like at, you're feeling like, well, I'm at peace though, you know, because it's a challenge. I really feel like you're just wanting your peace right now. Okay, Pisces. Yeah, because it's, it's getting tiring going in and out of emotions. And I feel like you're just seeing the truth, seeing things what they are, realizing this is a person's resisting change and more going towards new opportunities where the universe is like kind of putting something on pause to bring this to you. Okay, and it's beautiful. Okay, because you're operating from like love. You're operating from logic and, and from your heart. So I feel by you putting that out in the universe, I feel like that is why it's bringing in here. Okay, so there's a big, beautiful open door here, you know, and then there's something here very much, very frustrating, I feel, for you guys. Um, let's see how this person's feeling about you currently. They feel so happy with you, okay? So yeah, they you bring a lot of joy to this person's life. I'm feeling a little bit of envious though. Yeah, they daydream about a life with you. They're clearly not over you because literally they're stalking. It's like they're wanting more information. And I would do it all again. Yeah, and that's what I feel like you inspire me. The breakup... The makeup and breakups is, or something, you know, there's challenges here. Um, I feel like this person may be having a hard time looking in the mirror, okay? And I feel you really have really no choice at this time but to, because it's showing like indecision here, right? It's like hard to make a choice, like a solid choice. But I feel like you're just really holding on to your faith in really just going with what the universe wants. And it feels like every time that you could be trying or putting in the effort, things are feeling stuck because the universe is trying to make you aware that there's an energy here that is stuck. Okay. And I feel like the universe is trying to either like push this person, but they're resisting too much. Okay. They're resisting. It just feels very unfair in the challenge to where you had no choice, but to withdraw for your peace. So that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. Okay. Um, I do see, you know, more in the, um, outcome is that there is a lot of change coming in for you and there's beautiful opportunities. And for as this person, I do feel their action towards you could be a bit immature and stalking um, more than actually helping the situation, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Um, this is what I have for you guys. If it did help or resonate, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.